Okay, Charles, I'll be over here. Hey, Wayne, how, how you are doing? You? Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. We're talking about the racist members of the police force. See you later. So anyway, turn around. There's a guy named Dennis Country. What happened? Dennis was a panhandler here in this city. Last week, he showed up here. He had $700 in fines. What happened is, here in Fredericton, if you can't pay the fine of $700, you go to jail. I mean, they don't expect a person, why is a person panhandling in the first place? They need money, never mind $700. So what happened is, he came here last week, ready to go to jail for 30 days. He showed up, he was met by a constable Beck. Constable Beck told him, he says, fine, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, well, there's a warrant out for my arrest, too. Court appearance, I didn't show up in December. They turn around and look, nothing there. He says, go home. So myself, as a blogger, that said these people is the most racist police force in Canada. They don't have no immigrants under police force. They, uh, they said there's a double standard policy, one for the rich, one for the poor, and they still haven't denounced that policy. Now, I said to myself, see, look, there's the cop for there, look. See, there they are, nice police cruiser. All they need is the Gestapo thing on it, they'll be perfect. So anyway, what a way to start my new year. I was, I just came from battles. So everything was dropped. I said, maybe they're no longer racist. Maybe they're gonna leave the panhandlers alone. I was ready to blog maybe the racist agenda against the poor. Maybe it's over. This morning, I was approached by a woman that told me Dennis Godry was over his place, her place. And he has heard his name on the police scanner. He came here at the police station. He walked inside those doors and he asked if there was a warrant out for his, his arrest or whatever. The woman has never heard from this guy again. He disappeared. This morning, we walk in there, they come and see me. I gotta start charging. For for this, maybe a case of beer. Anyway, she went in there, we went there, we saw Constable Tim Kane. He, Tim Kane had, but Tim Kane works for Dan Bizier. So therefore, he has no public relations skin, skill whatsoever. He stayed at the door, he never even invited us inside. What do you want, what do you want? She asked to see if Dennis was there. He goes, he's not in this jail. She said, well, you're saying he's in jail. I told you, he's not in this jail. So, they grab him from what we take, grab him, put him to St. John, transfer him to St. John, cut off his medication, hopefully he'll take a heart attack. So now, we don't know where Dennis Godfrey is. Is the media gonna cover this? Of course not. But if the blogger's in trouble, oh yes, no problem. That's why I can't, I can't. I can't. I can never get caught like uh, drink and driving. My God, they have a field day with that one. But this racist police force are taking people off the street and they're putting the same down jail and they refuse to tell us where he is. So, can the media cover this? Where's Dennis? Nobody knows. So the new policy now is grabbing the less fortunate off the street and transfer them in the jail cell in St. John. Are they racist? Of course not. They're Gestapo. 